Welcome to Zephyr, a new vessel location and availability initiative for the offshore wind farm market. Zephyr is a web-based service providing offshore support vessel details and a variety of other innovative and forward-looking tools to assist charterers in locating vessels and understanding the vessel market, both now and in future years. This service is a joint initiative provided by Force 3 Offshore and our wind farm market intelligence partners, Force c Offshore. The service is being introduced as a response to our assessment that offshore wind is a complex and emerging market which would benefit from a more coherent and informative approach than is currently available from more conventional sources. An example of this are the supply chain issues which are already affecting vessel supply and we believe that if these issues are not identified and addressed they will continue to increase. Zephyr also aims to be a general information resource which may help to address the following issues. The service is hosted on 4C Offshore's existing website at www.4cofshore.com. Users will be able to access the service by entering the Global Offshore Wind Portal. On the left side of the next page, you'll find the Zephyr service. By clicking on that, you will automatically be taken to the Zephyr system. The Zephyr service launched on 5th of April this year with multicat and shell buster information already available. Other vessel types will be introduced every few weeks. When complete, Zephyr will cover the following vessel types. Potential charterers will be able to search Zephyr's extensive database by a whole range of different parameters, for example type of vessel, minimum length, minimum beam, maximum draft, minimum bollard pull, minimum power, propulsion type, number of winches, winch pulling power, winch holding power, number of cranes, type of crane, crane lifting capacity, and also by date needed. And finally, search for vessels using any of these parameters. It will also be possible to search by a particular vessel category that matches the charterer's needs, for example, shoal buster. filtered by propulsion, in this case twin screw, and crane type, high ab crane. Vessels are not identified by name, but will have an exclusive ID number, for example MC001, and a high quality photograph and the key specifications, LOA, beam, draft, bollard pull, propulsion, number of winches, winch pulling power, number of cranes and maximum crane capacity. It is also possible to sort the vessels by availability, LOA, draft, BHP, winch pull and crane lift. These parameters will vary depending on the vessel type selected as later on jackups, turbine installation, vessels, etc. will be added to the database. There is also information on availability provided, if the vessel is available, for how long, or if it's not available. If the user is interested in a particular vessel, they can choose the option More Details. There they will find a high quality photograph, specifications, and a forward calendar showing periods available or booked. 
the user will be able to sort availability by day, week, month or by quarter and we'll also find information for location of the available vessel. There will also be the amount of days displayed for when the vessel is available or booked and also the start and finish dates. Any request for further information can be sent to the 43 Offshore Specialist Brokers using the form. Zephyr also provides potential charterers with further information about the vessel type in the Learn About Vessel Type section. This is intended to be helpful to those who may not be familiar with the capabilities of that particular vessel type. There is also similar information in the Learn About Crane Type section. There are many further developments planned for the Zephyr system which will include a forward-looking availability index for each vessel type in the coming years. This index will take data from the demand side, which will indicate the number of vessels of each type required within a given year, and also vessel data from the supply side, which will indicate how many vessels will be available to the market at that time. The resulting figures will be automatically modified depending on vessel's known availability as recorded by Zephyr. As new bills become available to the market, numbers available will increase accordingly, and the index will therefore change. The following list shows all currently planned developments, but we will need and will also welcome feedback from wind farm developers and vessel charterers to enable us to further develop these tools and also to add other elements that may assist in improving the way that vessels are sourced and selected, and also to identify potential choke points in the supply chain. Thank you for listening. We hope you'll find this new chartering resource of value to your business.